blindfold. <laughs> Iris, I know you. I know every inch of your skin, the ink which makes you you. I know the boy who used you too. I know his touch, his compliments. I know how his blue eyes shine with life, but how he's almost dead inside from never letting anyone else in. I know him. I knew before you knew to leave him that you should leave him. I know the feeling, that disembodied feeling of shadows slicing your skin in half when sometimes you are nothing but a photograph which barely resembles you. And that woman, fitting on the street, I know her too. I know how everyone stopped to view her through a television screen until she was no longer alive. And how you were the only one to try and pass her by because I was the only one to try and pass her by. And Iris, I know you. I know the suit you use to hide who you are and the stumbling of dirty streets in the dark and the shaving of your head and the starting afresh and the not being able to afford food and how you chewed every mouthful of that pasta over and over to make it last longer. I know you. I know dressing like a man and ignoring the phone. I know the listlessness of the summers and that man, that fantasy you missed. I know how he was nothing but something to make you feel worthwhile. And sometimes all you do is compile stories of yourself in your head. Because sometimes all I do is compile stories of myself in my head. And Iris, I know the headaches. I know the black holes in unexpected places and how sometimes they'd obscure the faces of everyone. And how, when they're done, you'll be searching for someone and how he, that fictional man, that fantasy, I know how he will blindfold you and make you beg him. I know how he will make you beg. And I know that you thought he thought you were strong and I know that you knew he was wrong and I know that you thought you belonged with him and that your skin was so thin that under it beat his blood through your veins, but... I know you were wrong, just like I know that you search on for his face in the street because I used to search for his face in the street, but I know that if you were to meet him now, you'd hate him now for breaking you down and for allowing you to fictionalise you and for letting you wait in another man's suit with your shaved head and for leaving you on your bed, blindfolded. I know you'd hate him for blindfolding you because I used to hate him for that too. Thank you. <laughs>